Hi grade 6, welcome to lesson number 7. If you are ready, clap once. If you are excited, clap twice. And if you are ready to rock, clap thrice. For today's lesson, you are expected to divide a simple fraction by a simple fraction. First, let me introduce to you my friend Carla. She is a frontliner. As you can see, she's not wearing a face mask. So, Carla needs to answer five item tests. For every correct answer, she will be rewarded a face mask. Let's help Carla to answer the five item tests. Let's go now to question number one. Divide one third by one half. Choices are A. One third B. 2 thirds, C, 3 fifths, and D, 1 half. Go! The correct answer is letter B. Next, we will now move on to question number 2. What is the quotient of 2 fifths and 4? Choices are A, 1 ten, B, 2 tenths, C, 3 tenths, and D, 4 tenths. Go! The correct answer is letter A. And then next, question number 3. What is 12 divided by 3 fourths? Options are A. 14, B. 15, C. 16, and D. 17. Go! The correct answer is letter C. Item number 4. Mario decided to cut his 3 fourth piece of paper into 8s. How many 8s are there in 3 fourths? Options are A. 9 B. 8 C. 7 and D. 6. Go! The correct answer is letter D. Last number, number 5. Rudy consumes 2 fifths kilogram of sugar per day. How many days will it take him to consume a 2 kilograms of sugar? Options are A. 5 days B. 6 days C. 7 days and D. 8 days. Go! The correct answer is Letter A, 5 days. Very good! Carla collected 5 face masks that she can use every time she go outside. Now grade 6, let's check if you still remember on how to multiply fractions. How do we multiply fractions? Carla, my friend, has a problem. She has one half of a chocolate bar. She wants to cut it into eight equal parts. How many cuts can she get? This is the one half chocolate bar. We will cut it into eights. Okay, are you ready? Let's do it. One, two, three, and four. So, there are how many 1 8 are there in 1 half? Okay, very good. There are 4 1 8 in 1 half. Okay, class, we can solve also that kind of problem using algorithm method. 1 half divided by 1 8 equals n. Step number 1. Multiply the dividend by the reciprocal of the divisor. 1 half divided by 1 8 equals n. Keep 1 half or bring down 1 half, then change the operation division into multiplication, then flip or the reciprocal of the divisor, which is from 1 8 change to 8 1. Step number 2. Multiply the numerators, then the denominators. 1 half times 
8 over 1 equals 8, 2. Step number 3. Divide the numerator and the denominator by the GCF to simplify the answer. 8 over 2 divide by the GCF 2. We divide 8 by 2 equals 4. And then 2 divided by 2 is 1. So 4 over 1 is equivalent to 4. So our final answer is Carla can get 4 cats of chocolate. Hello grade 6, are you still there? Say hi! Okay, let's have another problem to solve. Here is the problem. Joy brought to school 4 fifths of a cake. She kept it into fourths so that she and three friends could have equal sharing. How big was one piece of a cake? We will solve the problem by dividing 4 fifths by 4. Or 4 fifths divided by 4. Since 4 is a whole number, right? So we can turn whole number into fraction by writing 1 as a denominator. From 4 fifths divided by 4 is the same with 4 fifths divided by 4 over 1. Step number 1. Multiply the dividend by the reciprocal of the divisor. 4 fifths divided by 4 1 equals n. We will keep 4 fifths, then change the operation division to multiplication, and then change the div divisor into its reciprocal 1 4. Step number 2. Multiply the numerators, then the denominators. 4 fifths times 1 fourth equals 4. When we multiply 4 times 1 is 4, then 5 times 4 is 20. Step number 3. Divide the numerator in the denominator by the GCF to simplify the answer from 420 divide it by the GCF which is 4 so 4 divided by 4 equals 1 and then 20 divided by 4 that is 5 so it had one fifth part of a k or Find the common factor of both numerator and the denominator. Group the fractions according to their common factor. 4 fifths times 1 fourth equals 4 times 1 over 5 times 4. It's equal to 4 times 1 over 4 times 5. Since 4 over 4 is equivalent to 1, and then 1 over 5. So 1 times 1 fifth equals 1 fifth. So our final answer is each had 1 fifth part of the cake. Grade 6. Based on the problem, what kind of a girl is Joy? If you were Joy, will you do the same? Why? Sharing is giving a portion of what you have with others. Write some of your experiences at home or in school where sharing is being applied. I hope you learned from our discussion. Let's do now some activities. For practice, direction. Match column A with column B. Write the letter of your answer. For keep practicing directions, divide the following. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Go.
Okay? To test yourself, directions. Read and solve the problem. Go. Good job, grade 6. You're doing great in your activities. To recall what we have discussed today, may I ask you this? How can we divide a simple fraction by a simple fraction? To measure how much you learned today, let's have a 5-item post test. Directions. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Thank you Grade 6 for watching, I hope you enjoyed and learned a lot today, see you next time, bye bye!